Jack's kind of sensitive, I guess. I heard he was drunk at Toby's last night and got into a fight with Hetty. He drove off without her. I sure I'm positive it didn't happen the way Jack says it did. I, I think it was the last film that I cut on film before before the complete, uh, uh, well, before the de digital revolution was complete. I think I had cut some films digitally before it, but I don't think I cut anything on film after it. So it was sort of the last one. Jack's to me, the 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 it's another example of a of a film that 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 like Jim's was shot a certain way and performed a certain way and cut a certain way and, and when I and when I watch it now I see that also the the I to me all the elements are in sync with each other in a scene like that the the filmmaking was very formal and uh, if you saw the the very first wide shots pushing in on the bed and comes around the side of the bed. And when I first uh, put the scene together, uh, uh, instead of coming off the wide shot to the reverse close-up on Nick Nolte, I kind of punched in in a very weird and, and un uh, unconventional way uh, uh, to a close-up of Sissy Spacek, and Schrader was livid. Uh, just absolutely not done. And I learned so much from him working on this film. And it, it was just a joy for me. He 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 really had a sense of what he was doing. He he knew, you know, he was he was on the top of his game. I think at that point. I mean, he's made a number of really good movies, um, but uh, but he was just really f functioning at a very high level. You are such a good person. Capital G. By God, you are. You are so much better than I am. I who have. No goddamn good at all. He wanted this sort of Super 8 look for these flashbacks, uh, but he wanted to shoot sync sound. So they shot 16, and then we projected it on the wall and re-photographed it off the wall a second time to try to get that, that Super 8 look. And it worked out really well. And there was some handheld stuff and some jerky movements and stuff that we were able to take advantage of. <laughs> But, you know, everybody makes mistakes, too. I mean, Schrader likes to say that he cuts in the camera, and he pretty much does. I mean, we got to stretch out a little bit in the flashbacks uh, uh, and, and play around a little bit, and that was, and that was a lot of fun. But he uh, uh, approaches it in a very formal way, a very structured way, and he expects it to be put together that way. And, you know, we were working with such great performances that it was relatively easy to do so. Uh, um, but uh, but it's a very economical way of making a movie, and a very and and for the most part, it worked it worked quite well. <laughs> <laughs>